featuring the works of brilliant emerging artists, it's the 25th Chelsea International Fine Art Competition, presented by Agora Gallery in the heart of the Chelsea Arts District. Agora Gallery Director, Angela DiBello. As the organizer of the exhibition, Agora Gallery provides a venue for emerging artists to present their work to the world stage. The competition has, for many years, been juried by curators of major museums, including two curators from the Guggenheim Museum over the years, the Brooklyn Museum of Art, the Whitney Museum, the Chelsea Museum, as well as experts in the art world, such as the executive director of the Art Students League. The competition is a very important one worldwide because it provides a stage for artists to not only exhibit their work, but to be recognized as competition winners. We asked the artist why they feel their work was selected for the competition. I have you know, found something that seems to connect with people. It just seems to resonate with everyone who sees it. Uh, people just uh, they kind of stop dead. They take time to look at it. It's traditional art reflecting on new media, and that's, I think, uh, interesting. In fact, because of, I think it's really outstanding. A lot of luck. I think, um, I hope, I'm not sure what I think, but I hope that, that my work stands out because it's narrative. In the past, I was working on a picnic, and 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 I and they get up closer and then there's that, oh, that's, that's soup spoons right there. Oh, those are, those are parasols from cocktails or something. Or what is that, though? I, I can't figure that out. And there's this, this question that they have about it that I really like. Um, maybe that's why my work was chosen. Yeah. It's, it's difficult to answer that. But looking at the work that's been chosen, uh, my work is very different from the other work. So I did choose carefully what because I have a lot of work, what to uh, apply with. I wanted a body of work that would hang together, and I think it does, even though I've got different materials and different uh, subjects there. Well, I think it's because it's an honest portrayal of what I'm truly passionate about. Light, life, motion. Uh, I believe our work was selected because it's a uh, uh, an original idea. Uh, we took something negative and brought, put a positive spin to it. I think it's uh, also the fact that photography with humor. Congratulations to all the artists selected for the 2010 Chelsea International Fine Art Competition presented by Agora Gallery. The awards vary. The first tier receives an exhibition at Agora Gallery. Second tier is a presentation of the work in our magazine, Artist Spectrum. There are cash awards, and there's also an award which allows us to present your work on our website, artmind.com. Here are more of the selected artists and works. In all, 33 artists were chosen by this year's jurors for the 25th Chelsea International Fine Art Competition. The advice that I, I give to aspiring artists entering competitions is that the work must be very cohesive. The work must be the same medium, and uh, it should have a very cohesive message. Uh, a very powerful message that uh, does not in any way deflect uh, from the work. Um, I'm an uh, educator. Uh, one thing I always love to tell students or, or students coming right out of school is to keep working every day, whether it's in your sketchbook or in your studio, just keep working um, and blanket the, the calls that you see out there. Suggest to them that they would be as true to themselves 
in what they're creating as possible. Make sure you put your best foot forward. You, you uh, take good photographs of your work and uh, send the best that you've got. The body of work, the series that you present, really has to be coherent. It can't be all over the board. It's one thought, one look, uh, one concept, and that makes you look like you know what you're doing. Yo creo que mi consejo para todos los artistas que recién se inician es que trabajen para ellos mismos, que sean ellos mismos, que puedan expresar un pensamiento porque en definitiva el arte es un lenguaje y en el lenguaje uno dice cosas. Never feel like your work is so precious. Just feel like it's evolving and changing and that you'll eventually, you know, work towards getting to a point where you feel good about it. Cualquier artista debe valorarse y valorar su trabajo, no despreciarse y pensar que que puede entrar, puede llegar a una competición, puede ser el seleccionado y puede participar en esa competición, no de entrada eh, decir, no, yo no puedo, sino todo lo contrario, yo sí puedo, y luego se entrará o no entrará, pero uno tiene que ser valiente y apostar por sí mismo. I think I would just say dare, be yourself, um, don't be shy, just express yourself, and that's all. Bien, le, le, le seul conseil que je donnerais, c'est d'être... Enfin, j'en donnerais trois. D'être original, original, et surtout, d'être original. To not to, to have too much expectations, expectations, not, not high expectations. Just work work, work and work and, and believe in yourself. I grew up in show business and I think the thing is to always, always do what is, what is precisely you and never give too much thought with, for what someone's looking for. Do exactly what you are used to do. Do your own thing. Don't try to check out what they want, but do what you want. And I think that is the idea. And then you, you enter the contest or not, that's the thing. As part of an ongoing commitment to give back to the community we live and work in, Agora Gallery will donate 25% of its proceeds of the sale of artwork from the competition exhibition to the nonprofit organization Art Start. Art Start brings together art, artists, and children in need throughout the metropolitan area.